Hello everybody and welcome to the Bristol Motor Speedway here from Bristol, Tennessee. That is correct. It is short track racing here at the world fastest half mile racetrack. We're going to go racing for 50 laps of Bristol excitingness possibly. Definitely going to have Pit stops involved, hopefully. Who knows what's going to happen to bring out yellows. And now let's go trackside for the command. Drivers, start the engines! Good old redneck giving a command start the engines. We're going to wash the roll off here to see if anyone has any problems. We saw who's on the pole. That is O'Neal Belvin in the 13. He starts off on the pole. Doesn't look like anyone's going to have any problems, so... Let's bring this up here as we're getting ready for... For them to go green flag racing. So the pace car will come off of the pit lane. Or go up to the pit lane. Here we go on the front straightaway. Green flag is out. We're racing here at Bristol. Side by side racing in the back as O'Neill Belvin in the 13 car will take the lead. Good old fashioned camera from up top watching the action. Gonna scroll through the field here. Looks like Cold Alley not having a good day. He's all the way in the last. Daniel Boyles. Cody Lamas is back here. Dougie Shears. Dylan Poti. Bunch of people not having good days up here. Charles Jackson started second and he's now falling back to the eighth position. Jessica Shelton moves up to seventh. Luke Walker, Phoenix race winner Trent Dunham up to fifth. Alex May, very good run up to fourth. Joseph Shrigley in third. Pichu London second, but it's still just O'Neill Bellman. Still just O'Neal Belvin in the lead who's been leading this race. Oh, you have a battle for second back here. O'Neal Belvin leads another lap. 50 laps of racing here at... We have 50 laps of racing here at Bristol. And we already had a change for position for second. Joseph Joseph Shrigley is in the second position now. Alex May passes P2 London also. So we have, we have a new second and third place right here. Then Trent Dunham still in fifth. He's looking to get up here. Alex May, that was last week's winner. Last week at Auto Club. He moves into the oh, excuse me, third place. Another lap is complete. Just having some exciting Bristol racing. Uh, some, I don't know, we'll have to try to focus where our first, uh, first battle is. Seems like everybody is single file now. Oh, right, we have a battle right here. This is for a third, this is for a thir 29th and 30th, I believe, Cody Lamas. Everybody else, everybody else is single file.
Battle settles itself out now. McCurry, uh oh. The 27 car has caught O'Neill Belvin. Belvin in the 13, Srigley in the 27 car. Who is going to be, will, will the 27 be able to pass O'Neill Belvin? And could that bring Alex May into the thick of things? Who knows? This is going to be still some good racing. Twenty-seven, right all in the back bumper. Look at how close it is. Oh, they're approaching lapped cars now. You know how Bristol gets with their lapped cars. O'Neill Belvin leads leads lap number eighteen. Guys are quickly approaching lap cars. I could bring the 51 of Alex May into things. Ironically enough, we still have yet to see a caution flag. Thirty laps to go here at Bristol Motor Speedway. Sorry for that silence there. Not really much to talk about. Alex May is right up on these two back bumper too. Alex May, the top three all right behind each other. Here going off into this turn. Now the rules here at Bristol pitting wise is, is different than the rest. Usually it, in real life it'd be where you could pit on the green on either side of the pit stall or pit box or whatever. But because this is an NR2003 that's weird. When these cars go to make pit stops, they will have to enter no matter what on the back stretch and go all the way around. We still have yet to see a caution as O'Neill Belvin catching these lapped cars. O'Neill Belvin catching underneath Nick Altendorf in the three car who is dead last right now in the, in the running. Oh, O'Neill going to go to the inside but 27 car is going to go three wide it looks like. Right between his teammate. Here comes Alex May for second position off that battle. Second position off the battle. Alex May will take second spot. And Alex May now takes a second position. And there's a lapped car in between the leader. And so they're pitting. Second place is pitting. Oh, a bunch of cars diving off into pit road. Benjamin Miles is already on pit road. Oh crap, I've circled around so much. Dang it, where is the 13 car at? O'Neill Belvin still out on the racetrack. Now he's coming in. We're going to watch the 13 car here. He's got the first pit stall because he was the he was the pole sitter. He's getting held up by lap cars right there. So we're going to have to see if he'll still remain the leader after these pit stops. 
Jessica Villanueva comes up right in front of him, causes him to slow down again. And there he goes, pulling in right into his pit stop. Or pit box. Four tire pit stop for the thirty or for the thirteen car. This could be the best finish he's had. If he can get off a of pit road. Oh, look, he's being held up off pit road. He's being held for some reason. The 43 even beat him off pit road. So what is happening with O'Neill Belvin? He is stuck on pit road. Bunch of these damn cars are. I don't know, but I think our new leader is going to be that 43. No, no, they're saying now it's Trent Dunham. Oh, maybe I shouldn't do that. Okay. They just now let O'Neal Belvin off pit road. Here is the leader. It's Trent Dunham. O'Neal Belvin comes right up in front of the pack there. Jessica Shelton just about got into him. But it's still Shelton in second place. Dunham has the lead. Trent Dunham, the winner at Phoenix. He is looking to become a two-time winner of the season. And if he does, he will be locked into the chase. Three wide, a battle up ahead. Someone had to get out of the throttle there. Up ahead, it's uh, it's uh, it's Kyle Matthews, Steve Pollard, and Daniel Voiles. Trent trying to go around the 14, but the 14 is quicker. Nick Altendorf once again, just like before, a left car separates the leaders. Separates first and second. Jessica Shelton stuck behind the three. She may be able to try to get away with the win here. You never know. Ten laps to go here at Bristol. Caution free ten laps. That's very surprising actually. Still going off in the turn number three and coming out of turn number four. Still Trent Dunham with the lead. Nine laps to go. Nick Altendorf is right on the, the one car's back bumper. If the three car moves the one out of the way, that could definitely open the door for that 25. Nick Altendorf, like I said before, right on the one car's back bumper. Will he do something to move him up out of the groove? Trent could be the first repeat winner of the season. Six laps to go at Bristol. One car. Trent Dunham. He's approaching lap traffic and it could very well hinder his performance. Trent Dunham trying to become the first two-time winner of the season. He just has to make sure he does not mess up. Stuck on the inside line though. Four laps to go here at Bristol. 25 is stuck on the high line. Ooh, a little bit of lag there. That is not good. Three laps to go, three to go, and the 25 has fallen back because stuck on the outside. Trent was almost put in the middle there. Trent has a bunch of lap cars now between her, between him and the 25 and Jessica Shelton. Two laps to go. Heading off into turn number three and four, Trent does not have to worry, he just has to hit his marks. White flag, one lap to go for Trent Dunham. Trent Dunham, he won at Bristol, or excuse me, he won at Phoenix earlier this season. First win of the season. 
Now Trent Dunham, he becomes the first two-time winner of the season as he wins here at Bristol. Not only that, but he locks himself into the chase for the, for the Budweiser All-Pro Series Championship. Caution free as well as the standings become official. Congratulations to Trent Dunham. First win, uh, or second win of the season. Our first repeat winner of the season. And as you can clearly see, Carson Gum surprisingly got past Jessica Shelton for the second position. So rookie Carson Gum will finish in third. Or second. Jessica Shelton finishes third. Seth Cole fourth. Connor Breton fifth, Stephen Pollard the third in sixth, Zachary Fitzwater in seventh, Alex May in eighth, Matt Schreier in ninth, and Joshua Collard in the tenth position. Eleventh is Dusty Allen, twelfth is, is Nathan Hudson, Preston Plord, Dougie Shears, Larry Hagan, Cole Daly, Peter Saviano, James Silverfox, Jessica Villanueva, and Robert Wagner round out your top 20. And the rest of these drivers all finished one, one between one to three laps down. Well, Derek Pemberton, Cody Lama, Steve Pollard, and Kyle Matthews round out the, your, lead, your, your guys on the lead lap. Then it's Ian Dutta, Nick Altendorf, James Shelley, who says retired, but he finished the race. Uh, Jake Haynes, Daniel Voiles, Anthony McCurry, your top 30. Then it's Poteet, Dylan Young, Benjamin Miles, O'Neal Belvin, who had the strongest car all day but got held up on pit road for some odd reason. A lot of these cars did. So he finished two laps down. Then it's Cameron Pemberton, Austin Mongo, Joseph Strigley, Luke Walker, Charles Jackson is going to take a big hit in the points for this. Lisa Gonzalez, Cody Hagen, and Pichu London round out the top field. Round out the field. So thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching. We're from Bristol. Next week is the Texas Motor Speedway. I may or may not have a co-commentator for that. I know I definitely, if I don't have it for Texas, I will for Talladega. So thank you for joining me here at the Bristol Motor Speedway. We'll see you guys next week at Texas. Until we meet again.